The Taliban warned that all foreigners are spies. Is this the tailor? But if you smile and you're unthreatening, guys. people still welcome you in. Can you measure me to make some clothes? Even the Taliban. Do you think I should get my hair done red like yours? Militant fundamentalists are in government here, but it's also the centre for a thriving Pashto film industry. So I've travelled to a cultural battleground where the fight is between those who believe in the freedom to use creative imagination and those who believe only in prayer and the afterlife. In this market, I'm able to buy a DVD player for just $15 US. This is why poor people in this region can all watch telly movies. That's why there's an industry. This is the cheapest form of entertainment. For the past five years, the northwest frontier has been governed by zealots like Milana Hukani. He's led the campaign to stamp out film and music. It's a very dangerous place. This is like turning back the clock to Nazi Germany. Everywhere you see shopkeepers in a state of shock who've had everything they own blown away. Please, 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 God, help us. So here I am, hamming it up, and it feels like I've entered the twilight zone, that I'm inside my worst nightmare. And yet I'm doing it because I'm making a documentary about this very industry. And this is my way of getting inside it. I was young. You know, how to use an AK-47. <laughs> you know, my movies are about war, but they're also about culture. And this, this is incredible. These guys are going out there with women, they're dancing in the, the landscape, and the Taliban hate them. So they're pretty brave artists. You know? Yes, yes. Peshawar is like a Hollywood. <laughs> Anything that can divert you from the pure part, from the divine part, so they are miscreants. The newspapers call the people who did it miscreants, and the people who did it call the people who sell videos miscreants. They don't like the local videos because they say that they make the people corrupt, morally corrupt, because they are vulgar. They are vulgar. So it's that's vulgar person. A big fat lady with a big boobs. And this much big fat. When she shakes around, this gentleman who is watching it, they get excited, they get crazy. So what would it cost to make one of these movies properly? Um, $4,000. $4,000? Won't it be dangerous for them having me on the set? They will just consider you are American and they will just shoot you. So here I was in the set of a Tariq Jamal movie. Completely out of my element, but as happy to be there as a kid who just joined the circus. Death in the afternoon. The actual movie and music stores here have been wiped out, but the stores selling propaganda DVDs for Taliban and Al-Qaeda are flourishing. This religious person, he would hate the dancing girls because she had the power to attract people. He would hate the circus people, the magicians, because they had power. All the sculptures of Buddha have had to be removed because the Taliban, the same people who are blowing up video stores and stopping music, would destroy these. No matter how small a gesture, it's a gesture for art and imagination. What we'll be doing will be out there, in the daylight, open, exposed, and in their faces. I wanted to take my little army into the place where the Pentagon had loved to go, the highest place on their wish list. 
the place that they should have gone instead of Iraq. The sanctuary, where the people who organised and planned 9-11 still operate. The place where Bin Laden is supposed to be. Some of these caves go miles back into the mountains. This is the best fortress in the world. Come here for so long. I'm part of the Tally movie scene. And here you are, here's someone just bought it. Wow. Hukumat is the Taliban. 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 We have closed down my shop. You never know from where this bomb comes and it kills you and the rest of the shops.